The previous video, Converge CFD Overview and Importing a Surface, described how to import a simple surface geometry and configure settings in Converge Studio. Now, we will begin configuring boundaries in the surface geometry. This process involves assigning or flagging surface triangles to groups, known as boundaries. Boundaries allow you to easily view selected boundaries and repair surface defects, set up boundary conditions, specify grid refinement per boundary, define volumetric regions to set initial conditions, and more. Within Converge Studio, boundary fences are virtual borders on the surface geometry. These boundary fences simplify the process of flagging boundaries and do not affect the Converge simulation in any way. In the Geometry dock, click the Boundary button and then on the Find Clean tab. With the Find tool, Converge Studio will automatically draw boundary fences where the angle between the normal vectors of adjacent triangles is between the upper and lower bound. Click Find. If you wish to delete all boundary fences, click the Clean button. Note that you cannot undo this operation by going to Edit, Undo. There are some operations that you can undo in Converge Studio and some that you cannot, so be careful when making changes to the geometry. Especially if you have a complex geometry, the Automated Boundary Fence tool will not create all of the boundary fences that you need, and you'll need to manually draw some boundary fences. For example, we can manually create a boundary fence in the middle of the cylinder. In the Geometry dock, click on the Fence tab. Verify that the By Selected Edges option is highlighted. In the Objects toolbar, select the Edge Selection Criterion and from the Selection Filter drop-down menu, choose By Arc. If this toolbar is not visible, go to View, Toolbars, and check the Objects Toolbar checkbox. Zoom in on the middle of the cylinder and carefully click on a single arc. To get a better view of a point in the geometry, you can select a center of rotation by right-clicking on a part of the surface and clicking View At. Click the Mark Fence button. If you click on the wrong edge or if Converge Studio does not highlight a closed loop, Press the Escape key to clear your selection and try again. Now, click on the Flag tab in the Geometry dock. Initially, all triangles are in the Not Assigned boundary. You cannot run a converged simulation if there are triangles in this boundary. After creating boundary fences, click the Plus button to open the Boundary Definition dialog box and create new boundaries. For this example, create Inflow, Outflow, Wall 1, and Wall 2 boundaries. Choose the Triangle Selection Criterion in the By Boundary Fence Selection Filter. Click on any surface triangle on the bottom of the cylinder. Converge Studio will highlight all of the surface triangles within the boundary fence. Select Inflow in the boundary list of the Flag tab, and then click Apply. The surface triangles will change color to match the assigned color for this boundary. Repeat this process for the other boundaries. If you make a mistake while flagging boundaries or wish to modify the boundary setup, use the Delete button in the Flag tab. Select the Wall 2 boundary and click the Delete button to unflag the triangles. Converge Studio deletes the boundary name and moves the triangles to the Not Assigned boundary. Recreate Wall 2 and reflag the triangles before continuing. To flag triangles to a different boundary, select and drag one boundary to another boundary. To control boundary visibility, go to the View Options dock and uncheck or check boxes to hide or show boundaries. 
Converge Studio can translate, rotate, or scale a surface, triangle, vertex, or boundary. In the Geometry dock, click on the Transform button. In the Translate tab, you can move the entire surface or a portion of the surface. In the Rotate tab, you can rotate the entire surface or a portion of the surface a specified angle about a specified point. In the Scale tab, you can shrink or expand the entire surface or a portion of the surface by a specified factor about a specified point. Now it is time to diagnose and repair defects in this geometry. Click on the Diagnosis tab in the lower right corner of Converge Studio to open the Diagnosis dock. If this dock is not visible, go to the View menu and check the Diagnosis dock checkbox. Converge Studio can identify several types of defects, which are listed in the lower half of this dock. By default, five options are checked. Four of these, intersections, open edges, non-manifold edges, and normal orientation, will prevent the Converge solver from running. The fifth default option, isolated triangles, as well as the options that are not checked, will not prevent the Converge solver from running. For more information about each defect type, please see the Converge Studio manual. Click the Find button to identify defects. Converge Studio lists defects in the Problem Triangles list at the top of the stock and highlights the problem triangles in the graphical window. To see only the problem triangles with a specific defect, click on a defect in the Problem Triangles list and click the Show button. First, click Intersections and click Show to show only the intersecting triangles in the graphical window. An intersection occurs when triangles pass through one another and will prevent the Converge Solver from running. To repair this defect, we will delete the intersecting triangles and the edge that they leave. Then, we can patch the resulting open edges with triangles that do not intersect others. Zoom in on the offending triangles. Go to Geometry, Repair, Delete, and select Triangle. Choose the Triangle Selection Criterion and the Any Selection Filter. Click the two triangles that intersect and click Apply to delete them. Change the deletion type to Edge, the selection type to Edge, and the selection filter to Any. Click on the remaining edges and click Apply. To patch this hole with triangles that do not intersect, go to Geometry, Repair, Patch. In Patch Options, select List of Edges. Change the selection filter to By Open Edge, Click the open edges left by the intersecting triangles and click Apply. Return to Boundary, Flag, and assign the new triangles to the inflow boundary. In the Diagnosis dock, click Find again. the intersections have been repaired. Next, click Non-Manifold Problems and click Show. This displays only the triangles with non-manifold problems in the graphical window. Non-manifold edges are edges that border more than two triangles. This defect will prevent Converge from running. In this example, the boundary in the middle of the geometry causes the non-manifold edge defect. To repair this defect, we can simply delete this extra boundary. Go to Geometry, Repair, Delete, and select Triangle. Choose the Triangle Selection Criterion and the By Boundary Fence Selection Filter. Click the triangles that make up this extra boundary and click Apply to delete them. In the Diagnosis dock, click Find again. The non-manifold problems have been repaired. Click Open Edges, 
and click Show to display edges that each border only one triangle. This defect will prevent Converge from running. Go to Geometry, Repair, Patch, and choose List of Edges in Patch Options. Check the Auto Assign Boundary for New Triangles checkbox. Choose the Edge Selection Criterion in the By Open Edge Selection Filter. Click on an open edge and click Apply to patch the open edge. Converge Studio automatically assigns the new triangle or triangles to the boundary of the triangle surrounding the open edge. Click the Find button to verify that there are no open edges left. Click Normal Orientation and click Show to display triangles with normal orientation problems. Display the triangle normal vectors by clicking the Normal Toggle button in the View toolbar. This defect occurs for triangles whose normal vectors are inconsistent with the normal vectors of adjacent triangles per the right-hand rule. The normal vector for each triangle must point toward the computational domain. This defect will prevent Converge from running. In the Geometry dock, click on the Transform button and then on the Normal tab. Choose the Triangle Selection Criterion in the Any Selection filter. Select a triangle with incorrect normal vector orientation and click Apply. Converge Studio will reverse the normal orientation of all of these problem triangles. Click Find in the Diagnosis dock and notice that all defects have been repaired. This concludes the surface repair process for the basic shock tube geometry. The next video, Flagging Boundaries for the SI8 Engine Geometry Part 1, will apply these techniques to the SI8 Engine Geometry.